Well, come along then, please. Settle. That's it. Well, good evening to you. Here we are again in the excitement that is each other's company. The pleasure's all yours. <laughs> oh, good one, me. <laughs> now, previously in my life, Stevie made me go on an outward bound course. I get my own kind of adrenaline kicks, thank you. <laughs> what else happened? Oh yes, I went clubbing, something I'm not prone to. A night out for me is going into the garden, coming back. Ah, home at last. <laughs> and I panic conversationally when in too trendy an environment. So, uh, tell me something about yourself. The other day I weighed my breasts to see how much they cost to post. <laughs> Too heavy to go, second class, if you know what I mean. <laughs> right, onwards with the show team, quickly, so we can forget what we've just witnessed. <laughs> So you're pleased with it? Yeah, it's great, Gary. Thanks for your help. Yeah, it's great, Gary. Thanks for your help. <laughs> I've no idea what it does or how I make it do what it does, but it looks cool. Oh, it's easy. I'll teach you. It's great, actually, because you can sync all the uh, applications with like, other hardware. Yeah, like no. Laptops. All I'm hearing is... <laughs> so, um, do you want a cup of tea, Gary? Yeah, great. Stevie, what are you doing on the floor, you weird woman? <laughs> Sorry, what's that? You'd like to make me and Gary a cup of tea? Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> fine, fine, just don't play with the toys, yeah? They're part of the new children's range. I really want to play with the toys. Do you really want to play with the toys? I really want to play with the toys. Yeah. <laughs> no, we can't, we're open. So, Caterpillar Duck Race, hello. <laughs> on your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Oh, those are lovely. Oh, my children would love them. How old are yours? Sorry? <laughs> well, I hope they're for your kids. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, it'd be weird if we were just that playing. Would be <laughs> so we've got, got kids. kids. Oh. <laughs> what do you have? Two little boys. <laughs> Has two little toys. <laughs> oh, we always do that. Yeah. <laughs> two boys, lovely. But exhausting. <laughs> oh, shattered. <laughs> yes, you look it. <laughs> oh, these would be perfect party gifts. Are, are you local? Maybe yours are going to the same birthday. What are they called? Uh, Cliff Richard. <laughs> Cliff and Richard. <laughs> We're massive fans. <laughs> I'm Mandy. Mary. And this is... Joseph. <laughs> no way. <laughs> well, I will look out for your boys. What's your surname? Oh, um... <laughs> Rich... Rich... Richards. Richards. <laughs> right, so your, your, your sons are Cliff Richards and... Richard Richards, Richard. yeah. We just thought, <laughs> life isn't fair, let's teach them that from the off. <laughs> isn't it just that we're massive fans? That's it, yeah. yeah. We're all going, going on, on a holiday. <laughs> Christmas time, mistletoe and wine, children singing Christian rhymes. Etc. Et <laughs> well, lovely to meet you. Nice to talk to adults, otherwise, it's just kids, kids, kids. Oh, isn't it? <laughs> For a night out. Oh, a holiday. Oh, I could do so much more before I had children. <laughs> I sometimes think, Mandy, how do you have enough time to bring up those kids and run your own business? <laughs> You're a saint. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, in a way. <laughs> 
But the children are worth it, aren't they, Mary? I always say, until you've brought the gift of life, you're not complete. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a saint. I've just given birth. I don't even have enough time to eat. My ovaries work, and I'm so very excited. <laughs> not very annoying. Ovary annoying. <laughs> Gary, not very annoying, overy annoying. <laughs> Oi, not very annoying, overy annoying. <laughs> Nothing here either. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> My point is, I'm young, I'm free. Single. Yes, happily so, Mother. I can do anything. I can go reckless, wild. You've never been wild. OK, so I'm not a clubber. I don't large at big style. Not unless you're in McDonald's. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. oh, that's very good. <laughs> Such fun. Yeah, it has to be said, Miranda, you're not cool. Oh, hello. Cool new phone, which I worked out myself, plays music, so it is, in effect, a kind of ghetto blaster. Uh-huh. And what are you listening to at the moment? Let's have a go, shall we? Billy Joel. Yeah. You'll be up before you know. You'll all be dancing soon. You'll love it. Da 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 Okay, fine, you've made your point. I'm not I'm not cool, but I just I just want some fun and crazy times, you know. I'm gonna start by getting really drunk. No! <laughs> what? You get regal and angry when you're drunk. Oh I do not. Have you had wild times, Penny? Oh, 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 oh. Don't you know it? I've had such, such fun. <laughs> There was a spa in Malta in the 60s. Oh, no. And let's just say clothes weren't an option, so... <laughs> Nigel Havers twice. <laughs> Unacceptable. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to... I'm going to just take off for a few days. I'm going to pack a backpack, grab a flight to Thailand. For a few days? Wild, yeah. <laughs> That's it, I'm just off to book my spontaneous trip, cos I am one cool, hip chick. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going on a spontaneous crazy trip. I'm no good at travel, and even if I did get to an exotic beach location, not relaxing. Beaches? Try and put a towel down. Immediate gust of wind, towel in face. Tuck towel into sand. Sit down. Have a nice lolly. Wasp! Wasp! Stand up to bat wasp away. Oh no! Sand on towel now. Flap towel to rid of sand. Sand in face. Sand on lolly. Wasp! Wasp! A ball to ball! <laughs> Holiday search. Hotel, England. Sorry. Um, it's too expensive, it's a bit far. Oh, hang on, brilliant. The Hamilton Lodge. I know where that is. La Bar. <laughs> Round the corner. No travel, no language barrier. Book. And there's no reason to say I'm not going to Thailand. Shh. Morning. Morning. Has broken. Blackbird has spoken. Skin and minute. How are you? Good. So, when are you off? About 20 minutes to Thailand. <laughs> Will you be all right for a few days? Well, I'm doing a uh, management course on Friday, but your mum's covering. Morning. 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 Um, I made you a packed lunch for the flight. Oh, great. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Darling, I won't go as far as proud, but I am genuinely impressed. You are actually going what I call abroad. It is abroad. Now, remember, if a man drives up to you saying he's a taxi, get in. 
You never know. Right, well, I've got a, a cab booked to the airport, so don't hang around, OK? Bye then. Well, darling, I would have taken you to the airport. No, don't worry about yeah, it. I could have given you a lift. My car's just outside. I wouldn't have given you a lift, but you should have asked. That's saving money, I'll take you. Well, my car's just outside, essentially. Oh, well, cancel the taxi. Go with Gary. Well, I don't yeah. want to go to the airport with any of you. The idea's disgusting. <laughs> Somebody order a cab to the <gasps> hub. Port. Yes. Best shot I've had in a while. <laughs> right. <laughs> I need to leave immediately because I don't know what's going to happen next. And this is your room. Oh, lovely. Oh, look. Thailand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you have to stay in this dive, wishing you were there, quite like a form of torture. Or you could look at it, imagine you're there, without the hassle of going. <laughs> you like that idea, don't you? Right, um, fridge, bathroom, bed. Oh, we've only just met. <laughs> just a little joke, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Always a bit nervous around youth. <laughs> oh, I love a hotel room. Don't you love a hotel room? I love Hotel room. <laughs> you know, clean sheet night at home when it feels like a delicious new bed every night in the hotel. And sometimes the sheets feel a bit crisp and cold, don't they? So you do the warming up bed dance. Forgot to say, breakfast from 7 till 10. Great. Thanks. And that's. Uh, that bed is, uh, yeah, it's fine. So, oh, this is always funny in a hotel room, isn't it? <laughs> Where's my head gone? <laughs> I used to be like a swan. <laughs> are you from an institution? or? Are you... No, but I hear you. <laughs> right. Oh. Tea and coffee tray. Nowhere else but in a hotel room is one so excited to see free tea and coffee sachets. Good words, sachet. As I sachet up to the sachet. I am very overexcited. Biscuits. The key with the biscuits, of course, if you don't eat them on day one, hide them so you get the free pack at the next. Little kettle. <laughs> you never have a kettle in your room at home. That would be weird. But in a hotel, out of bed, pop the kettle on, one smooth move. It's been 26 hours. I've done everything. All the films. Well, not all the films. Naughty. <laughs> I've had six baths. Most room service meals. It's like all the best bits of being ill, but you're well. <laughs> oh, hang on. How have I missed this? Trouser press. I love these. Brilliant. <laughs> Pop it in. <sighs> Exciting. I'm a trouser press. Open me up, insert something inside. That sounds wrong. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. I might have to sneak home and get the rest of my trousers and make proper and efficient use of that. Can I do that? Yes. back from Thailand to get some more trousers. I'm staying at the Hamilton Lodge. Don't tell the others. You have gone on holiday to the town you live in. 
What are you doing here? Stevie's teaching me the ropes for Friday. I'm exhausted. I was taking a break. Is everything all right, Penny? We've got our next tell drill in five minutes. Hide. <laughs> He's not coming up. What are you doing? I'm trying to get in a drawer. I panicked. <laughs> All my trousers really have done everything now. Oh, room service. <laughs> oh, great. Thanks, Jason. Profit there. We've done pretty well, haven't we, Jason, with the whole room service issue? Because it can feel awkward, can't it? Somebody coming in to deliver a meal that you don't know when you're in your pyjamas. I mean, imagine if I turned up at your house and walked into your bedroom with a plate of food. Please don't do that. No, 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 I won't. I was just saying it's a sort of weirdly intimate scenario, isn't it? I was a bit worried that the room might smell, but I'm told that my natural smell, because we've all got them, is lemons. So... <laughs> I don't know what your smell is. <laughs> Boyish yet manly. <laughs> There's a chance that I've got verbal diarrhoea because I've been on my own for a while, so... Um, in fact, do you want to join? It'd be nice to have some company if you... Is that why you ordered two meals? Hmm? Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm working. But the company thing is actually something I could arrange, if, if you like. Really? This hotel's amazing. OK. For the evening or the whole, whole night? Oh, um, the whole night. Why not? I missed a good chat. <laughs> OK, I'll sort that for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a shoe shiner. Brilliant. I can't believe that I've missed this before. <laughs> Madame requested an escort. You're an escort? You're not in Thailand! Coming back at you with your an escort? Coming back at you with you ordered an escort? I did not! I ordered company! <gasps> That's just code! Well, seeing as we're here, we might as well make good sweet love. Be shy. I've had weirder. Rude and no. And can you please put your trousers back on? Because it's one of those I don't want to look, but I just can't stop looking. Please. Actually, can you just leave immediately, please? Thank you. And um, Clive, don't tell any of the others I'm not in Thailand. Okay. Right, time to brave the restaurant, hence the business suit, pad and pen. People will think I'm working. No one will think sad, lonely diner. It's a brilliant system, one I am very pleased with. <laughs> to dine. Amanda? Amanda! Did you say my name? Ah, yes. Hi there, here's your badge. Right. <laughs> it's a real privilege to meet you. Is it? Lovely. Do you want to join us for a drink? Oh, um, OK. Why not? Great. What's happening? Shall we? We're all really looking forward to the seminar. Oh, a seminar, is it? Well, I hope so. It'd be tragic if this was a holiday. <laughs> oh, it'd look at us. Yeah, <laughs> that would be tragic. <laughs> Everybody, this is Amanda Barnes. Hello, Amanda. Oh, Amanda. It's a real honour. Is it? Right. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. We've had a message on reception from Amanda Barnes. She's running late. Well, that is an old message, isn't it? Because she's here. To here, oh, to here. So, Amanda. That's me. How was the trip from Yorkshire? Oh, I were great. Oh, I, th I thought you were just there on business. No, turns out I'm from the. The minute I hear Yorkshire, the accent just comes flooding back. <laughs> Whereabouts are you from? Just the general area, nowhere specific. Don't want to give you my address. Oh, <laughs> risky. risky. <laughs> so, drink. Oh, um, I 
think Amanda would like a gin and tonic. And I think Colin would like to get that for Amanda. <laughs> right, let's get this party started, shall we? Amanda's up for some good times. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, new phone. Lovely. These ones have great features. Are you still talking about the phone, Colin? Eh? <laughs> a man just naughty. And slightly like a camp man. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I, I think I'm calling someone. Oh. Hello? Hello? Miranda? Gary, hey! Hey, how you doing? How's Thailand? Yeah, it's great, Gary. I'm like a new woman, literally. <laughs> I've, just, um, I've just sent you a photo of a new mate. Why are you wearing a business suit? Oh, well, when in Thailand, Gary. What? Go to a seminar. Are you drunk? Me? Drunk? No. <laughs> but I better go, Gary, because Colin's having an arm wrestle with Sing Tao. <laughs> He taught me how to take a photo, but I can't switch the bloody thing off. I don't know. Miranda, you sent me another photo. you sent me was the view from your window. You're down the road. Nobody else knows, okay? Promise not to tell anyone. Yeah, I'll, I'll promise. Oh, I see you have company, eh? <laughs> Hello, you must be Sing Tao. Yeah, if you like. We'll leave you to it. Come on, guys, now. Come right, on. Then. Night, guys. Right, Come on. Night. Back to yours, Phil. Back to yours. Yeah. Oh. Adam which I always think sounds a bit like adamant. <laughs> Prince Charming, there's nothing to be scared of. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get you a glass of water, Miranda. But, uh, oh, it's such a good friend. <gasps> Gary! Have you seen these? These are brilliant. Gary! Gary! <laughs> Come and look at these! Oh, you should take your trousers off first. I beg your pardon. <laughs> That is very rude to your majesty. Oh, God. What would Prince Philip say? Something racist, probably. Look, uh, why don't you come over and sit down on the bed, eh? Oh, oh such a good friend, Gary, aren't yes, you? Yes, yeah. yes. I'm not northern anymore. <laughs> such good friends, and that's all. Isn't it, Gary? I don't think of you in a sexual way at all. I mean, you know, you could stay here tonight and it wouldn't mean anything because we're just friends. In fact, Gary, to prove the ease of our friendship, let's just sleep together. <laughs> Do a bit of the sex. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you're all right. Can we do a bit of the sex? Well, we might as well. Come on. Brilliant. Coffee. Coffee sachets. Coffee sachets. <coughs> oh. Morning, Amanda! <laughs> Come on, you're going the wrong way. We're in here. Well, welcome, everybody. I hope you've all 
received your agendas, as you can see. The course is split into morning and afternoon sessions, and then sandwiched in the middle are the sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's settle down. Okay, let's start by welcoming our course leader, Amanda Barnes. Right, this is uh, internal. <laughs> Hello. I met most of you last night, and you are Stevie, does that say? Yes. Hello. I'm Amanda Barnes from the general Yorkshire area. So, it turns out I'm a course leader, and the course is about... Um, Local business in the global marketplace. That's going to go. Right, OK. Let's imagine that um, this is the local business and this is the global marketplace. <laughs> You've got yourself a willy. <laughs> Let's toss the willy out. So, you don't need me to tell you about the global marketplace. Oh, at a hundred quid for the day, I think we want to hear it from you. Amanda Barnes. Right, global marketplace. What I like to do on a day like this is pull, pull our, that's a tricky word, pool our wisdom. So I think we should hear from, would you like to share some of your ideas? Not really, no. Are you sure? Mm. Come on, she has some fab ideas. Oh, I do, actually, it's true, I do. <laughs> people. Um, my name is Stevie Sutton and I manage a local business which I see as big. Big dreams, big ideas. The only time we think small is Heather Small. What have you done today to make the big Now back to the business in hand. Oh, excuse, excuse me, me. Miss. What the hell do you think you're doing? Excuse me, could you sit down, please? I've been asked to do a speech. Well, it should be my speech. I'm Amanda Barnes. Would you leave, please? I'm not leaving my course. I don't know who you think you are. Amanda Barnes. She's not Amanda Barnes. No, she's not Amanda Barnes, but she is. No, I'm Amanda Barnes. Well, who's she? She's Mary Richards, hi. She's not Mary Richards. And you're not Amanda Barnes. I said I was Amanda Barnes. Well, who are you? Stevie Sutton. And you are? Amanda Barnes. Well, then who... I'll explain everything. Just one quick question before I do. Are we on the ground floor? Yes. the flight. Oh, you must be exhausted. Jet lag with only four days. Hey, listen, thanks for that photo you sent. Gorgeous beach. Yeah, she looks like she's caught the sun a bit. Yeah. Can I just stop you? You all know. What? what? Then you as well? A oh, wild time. Oh, well, eat your words, because what's not wild about getting drunk, ordering an escort, breaking into the shop, making new friends, running a seminar, and diving out of a window? Officially, a little bit crazy. <laughs> Uh, no, not Billy Joel. Yeah, you'll all be up. It's a classic. Trying to get to grips with what makes modern art. School of Saatchi.